Hello, my name is Rick Vargas and I am with Alamo City Chevrolet and behind me is a beautiful 2018 1500 Silverado pickup truck, um, which by the way, you could take home today, <laughs> but enough of that. Uh, I'm actually here today to specifically talk about pairing your Bluetooth. It is exactly the same in pairing it in the Silverado 1500 of the 2017 and the 18. So without further ado, Follow me, let's jump in this uh, Silverado 18 and I'll show you how to get that done. As I mentioned before, uh, we are in a 2018 Silverado 1500 pickup truck. It is the same, it programs the same way as the 2017 uh, and the 2018. So what we're gonna do now, first off, we've gotta make sure that we have your phone unlocked, okay? So you'll unlock your phone. Now we're at the radio we're gonna hit this home button here. So now we're gonna to go to our settings. We'll scroll, see where it says Bluetooth. You'll scroll down to that. We press the Bluetooth button. Now we're gonna go back to our phone, go to our settings, make sure our Bluetooth is activated. Now we're going to pair new device. Now your phone is searching. Now we see Chevrolet my link we're gonna press that okay so we're gonna start to pair we say yes pair now we have successfully paired our phone we press ok and there we go we can go back now so now we're we're connected our Bluetooth is connected now so if we're driving we need to make a phone call on our steering wheel we have two buttons here. One is the talk button, one is the hang up. So now if we wanna place a call, we're gonna press the talk button, never have to take our hands off the steering wheel, and we tell the, we tell the Bluetooth who we wanna call. All right, simple as that, very easy. Now, if you want to say we're selling our vehicle, we're trading it in, we need to um, take out, you know, uh, disconnect the device, very simple we go back to our settings okay we're going to go to bluetooth now see where it says device management we're going to press that button right here where it says iphone that's the iphone that we had connected and we are going to hit x right there and it asks do you want to disconnect that we disconnect it there we go um, so we've disconnected it and now it's not connected anymore now we can delete it, press delete. That one is off. There was another phone uh, that was connected here. We're gonna hit the minus button. Ask if we want to delete it. We say yes, there we go. There are no more devices connected to that. So it's real simple, you know, but if you have any questions, have problems with that, definitely, definitely give me a call. Again, my name is Rick Vargas, or you can come by, talk to one of our service guys uh, that are certified with this technology, and they can show you how to get it done with any problem that you're having. So come on out and see us here at Alamo City Chevrolet. We're waiting for you to come and pick up this beautiful 2018 1500 Silverado pickup truck. Take it home today. Come see me. Okay, so one more thing before I go is that uh, I have been stressing the 1500 Silverado about the Bluetooth, but it is the same in the 1500, 2500, 3500. It all programs the same way, uh, it streams the same way. So um, any questions for you guys out there that don't have the 1500 and have the 2500, yes, it is the same in all three of those uh, trim levels, okay? So now with that being said, uh, I do get another question real quick about uh, Android Auto and the uh, uh, Apple CarPlay. Yes, there is a difference. Uh, they, they work basically the same way as the Bluetooth, but the big difference in the Bluetooth is that you don't have to plug it in. You know, uh, you don't have to have that cord in the way um, unless you're wanting to charge it, of course. But uh, again, um, you know, you don't have to have the cord there. So with your Bluetooth, you can answer your phone, you can answer a text. It's everything is right here on your steering wheel to uh, tell it to play something off of your playlist. Yes, you can. You can stream your, your music from there, whether it be your Pandora or music you have downloaded on your phone. 
great feature on the Bluetooth. Never used to be that way, so it's come such a long way. All right, so again, um, you know, with your Apple CarPlay, if you want to go that route, you know, or the Android Auto, it will stream some of your um, apps on there, not all of them, okay? So unfortunately, we haven't gotten that smart yet, okay? <laughs> so again, you know, you can get some of your apps from the phone onto the display there, um, not all of them. But of course, you know, the best ones are what's showing up there, okay? Um, so again, if you have any questions, give me a call. Rick Vargas here at Alamo City Chevrolet.